We interrupt this programme to bring you a news flash. This evening, world famous scientist Dr Hamish McAllister, the man who conquered death, committed suicide in front of a television audience of over 720 million. During an appearance on a UK TV chat show, Dr McAllister deliberately killed himself and was immediately seen to be resurrected in the virtual world while his fiercest critic, evangelist Adam Daniel, was forced to look on. McAllister's public suicide and subsequent resurrection was clearly intended to prove conclusively that virtual immortality is now an established fact and that any further debate over the ethics of technological resurrection is now redundant. Hello, you. I was wondering when you were going to show up. He's looking at you, kid. You remembered? Casablanca was always your favourite. The others wait in Casablanca and wait and wait and wait. It might be a good idea for you to disappear from Casablanca for a while. There's a free French garrison over at Brazzaville. I could be induced to arrange a passage. My letter of transit? I could use a trip. But it doesn't make any difference about our bet. You still owe me 10,000 francs. And that 10,000 francs should pay our expenses. Our expenses? Mm -hmm. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. It was wonderful. You OK? Just cold. Sing it, Sam. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. This evening, world famous scientist Dr. Hamish McAllister committed suicide in front of a television audience. Killed her with a compound not unlike the one I. Dr. McAllister deliberately in, uh, killed himself and was immediately seen to be ready. And for my next trick, my final trick, I shall demonstrate the reality of resurrection.
Dr. Ritchie. Who are you? You don't know me, Miss Ritchie. My name is Clinton. Professor Randolph Clinton. I want to speak to McAllister. McAllister? He's dead. I'm sure you must have seen. Nevertheless, I need him back here in the real world. He'll never come back. He'll come back. He merely needs the right incentive, my dear. created these worlds, Dr. McAllister. Anything is possible. Who are you? You don't know me, Doctor. But I look forward to meeting you in person. You see, I have something that's of great value to you. What have you done with her? Nothing. Yet. But believe me, I won't hesitate to do whatever is necessary to ensure your cooperation. What do you want? I want you, Dr. McAllister. There is work to be done. Work that only you can do. Just in case you hadn't noticed, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do for you. You misunderstand me, Dr. McAllister. Not here. You will come back to the real world. You have no choice. It's not possible. There's no way back. Death is a one-way ticket. That's a lie, Dr. McAllister. A convenient lie. One that you manufactured to ensure you never have to take responsibility for the legacy you've left behind you. For the damage you've done to mankind. But some of us have to deal with the consequences in the real world. So you will find a way. That is, if you want to see your beloved Elizabeth again. But don't worry, Doctor. I have arranged for someone to help you. <laughs> The situation. 
You new to this? My first time. Not what you expected. Before you chose to die so very publicly, she was one of your adoring students. But since then, a lot has changed. It seems you had a more lasting effect than even you realized. It was your example that inspired her to become the world's leading expert in human clone generation. Together the two of you will find a way. There is a war coming, Doctor. The future of Western civilization is at stake, and you will provide us with the ultimate weapon we need to win that war.